Hello friends, let us discuss a small topic that is Zenker's diverticulum. Zenker's diverticulum is also called as pharyngeal pouch. This is protrusion of mucosa through Killian's dehiscence. Killian's dehiscence is a weak area of posterior pharyngeal wall between the oblique fibers of thyropharyngeus and horizontal fibers of cricopharyngeus of inferior constrictor muscle. There are classification like congenital and acquired diverticulum. What are the types of acquired? It has pulsion and traction type. Pulsion means there is increased intraluminal pressure. Example is Zenker's diverticulum. What is traction diverticulum? The pathology is outside, that is it pulls outside. Example is middle esophageal diverticulum. In congenital diverticulum, it has all wall layers, whereas in acquired, it has only mucosa. So, this is a picture showing Zenker's diverticulum. Killian's dehiscence is a weak area in the inferior constrictor muscle. Pharyngeal pouch is a pulsion diverticulum. It starts in the midline of posterior pharyngeal wall. There is imperfect relaxation of cricopharyngeus muscle which increases the pressure in the pharynx. It is mainly seen during swallowing so it leads to protrusion of mucosa through Killian's dehiscence. Usually this protrusion is towards left side. Large pouch which is visible in the neck can be seen as globular swelling which is often tender and smooth. What are the differential diagnosis? We have branchial cyst, cold abscess in the neck, lymph cyst, hemangioma of neck. What are the clinical features? It is usually seen in older patients around 7 decade of life. Initially patients are asymptomatic. Patient can present with chronic cough, excessive salivation and intermittent dysphagia. There can be regurgitation of foul smelling undigested material. There can be voice changes and patient can present with retrosternal pain and respiratory infections. The most serious complications from an untreated Zenker's diverticulum is aspiration pneumonia or lung abscess. So, patient can present with pain, dysphagia, recurrent respiratory infection and swelling in the neck. How will you diagnose this Zenker's diverticulum? We can do barium swallow. Usually on lateral view we can see the protrusion. We can see the pouch like structure. At the level of cricothyroid the diverticulum can be seen filled with barium resting posteriorly alongside the esophagus. Chest x-ray shows pneumonia. Indirect laryngoscopy may show pooling of saliva in pyriform fossa. How will you treat the Zenker's diverticulum? Antibiotics and nutritional support at the early stage. And we can do surgery. What are the indications for surgery? Progressive symptoms, recurrent aspirations and persistent dysphagia. These are the indications for surgery. We can do diverticulectomy with cricopharyngeal myotomy. It is done usually in large lesion. We can do inversion or diverticulopexy. There are newer methods like endoscopic minimally invasive techniques that is Dolman's approach. In this approach, pouch is excised using double lipped endoscopy. Cautery or laser can be used. It is a quicker procedure with shorter duration of anesthesia. It has faster recovery. We can do stapling of the diverticula also. What are the complications of surgery? There can be infection, pharyngeal fistula, abscess in the neck, esophageal stenosis and recurrence. There can be recurrent laryngeal nerve palsy. So, this is in brief about Zenker's diverticula or pharyngeal pouch. Thank you.